Okay, so the clout machine diss the other clout machine. No need to say their names, cause bro, like they the clout machines, bro. Everybody knows who they are. They have like over ten million subscribers, both of them. So um, this is random though. Why he would diss Rice Gum? I just say his name or Clout Gang, cause the title reads Rice Gum sucks. Rice Gum and Clout Gang diss track official music video. So this is my first time listening to this, guys. I'm about to go ahead and react to it. First time with some of you guys. It's going to be the first link in the description in case you want to go check it out. Go check it out. But I would appreciate if you guys dropped a like on my video. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to get 100 likes on this video, which should be slight work. Shout out to the base gang. Everybody showing love and support. I appreciate y'all. Without wasting any time, we finna get into this and see what's up, bro. Because I feel like this ain't even no real beef. I do not expect these guys to be beefing. If anything, this is just like for entertainment or something like that, bro. He's using this beat again. Hold on. Did he use, unless it's a different beat, but then he used this beat already to diss KSI or am I tweaking? Or is it the same, is it the same KSI? Bro, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's the same beat. Your mom looks like Kim Jong-un. Called me irrelevant, but you only get views when you pay your mate's girlfriend to show up for booze. You have the personality. Okay, hold on. That that intro though. She's starting off a little racist there. Damn, cuz. Sheesh. He didn't say his bro. He just said my man's mom looks like. Okay, so he's already used this beat before, but I guess it's a different verse coming to Rice Gum because I did not hear these lines when he just cast side. But we gonna run that back because I was not expecting him to start off like that. This is serious, huh? Good afternoon. Your mom looks like Kim Jong Un. Called me irrelevant, but you only get views when you pay your mate's girlfriend to show up for booze. You have the personality of a wet flannel. Summer is the only thing saving your channel. I've never had a fight, but you're a pro. He's already want to know against the Gabby Show. Oh! <laughs> yo, what's going, my man? Yo. See, this is the thing with these diss tracks. How, like, the way these guys make their diss tracks, even if it's fake beef or it's just for entertainment, the way they they beef, bro, they be putting out stuff out there for real, bro. Y'all know the whole Rice Gum Gabby show thing when he knocked her phone out her hand and he broke it and sent her money to get a new phone. He's he's brought that up. Yeah, cuz, hold on. Gabby show. You off China with a single vlog. I heard you once tried to eat a little violence dog. And your life sucks. Yo, that's just You're racist. Fun, looking like a malnourished lesbian. The whole of crowd gang are having a mare. Look, poor face banks is losing his hair. And face rocks nose is just obscene. Wait, will we stop? She's only 17. I'm no! <laughs> Yo! Oh my God, bro. What the? The man's coming to Wolfie too? Oh, that's foul. Yo, this might be real, bro. I don't know. I don't know. See, bro. What the? Oh. <laughs> Yo, this might be real, guys. This He's, yo, if you don't understand the whole Wolfie, she's only 17, pretty much Wolfie got caught cheating on his girlfriend with a 17-year-old, and he's saying, well, Wolfie, stop, she's only 17. I mean, what's the legal age of consent in whatever it is, um, Cali? Is it 17? I don't know, but regardless, Wolfie was cheating on his girl, which, but damn, cuz, you ain't, what this guy, that's a rice gum diss track, you coming up, bro, this man came a phase rug, phase bump, uh, bro, ugh. Faze Rug, Faze Banks. Who else? Who else? He came a Alyssa Violet's dog. Like, bro, chill out. With Logan and Jake and all of Rice Gum's Fortnite. Hold on. 17. Alyssa Violet got with Logan and Jake and all of Rice Gum's Fortnite games are fake. His diss track stopped because the last one flopped. And when he fights me, he's going to get dropped.
Okay, this all makes sense now. This this literally all makes sense, bro. So I'm about to explain to you guys what I mean, what I'm talking about, and you guys, you're gonna be like, okay, Chico, you making sense. So, um, <clears throat> first off, my man's literally just violated a couple people in this track. I know it was a rice gum diss track, but bro, you literally came at Banks, Alyssa Violet, Summer Rae, Wolfie, Phase Rug. I don't. Is Phase Rug is Phase Rug even a part of a Clout Gang, or he just claims because he he and Phase and he can't really do nothing with them like that. But Summer Rae, bro, he came at everybody. Now, some of the things he said, bro, I feel like he shouldn't have said. But at the same time, it's a diss track. But if it's a diss track. If you're saying, no, Wolfie, stop, she's only 17, why are you saying that to Rice Gum? Are you supposed to be saying that to Wolfie? So I feel like that was kind of like bogus that he put him in there. But at the same time, it's a diss track, bro. You got to, if I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you, your people. So I, I respect that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at that. Now, look, bro, here's a little conspiracy that, that's that been going on after the KSI, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Deji fight, all right? So before the fight, a YouTuber by the name of uh, Oprah Side, he's a YouTuber from the U.S., <clears throat> He reacts to like NBA videos and stuff like that. And he be basically a reaction channel. He was talking about how, the whole fight, how it was finna go. Right? He said the Logan Paul, uh, the Jake Paul and Deji fight, it was Jake Paul's gonna win. All right? He was like, no doubt Jake Paul's gonna win. And then the Logan and the KSI fight, he said he wants KSI to win, but he's kind of leaning on Logan Paul winning. But it might go to like, it's not gonna be a, a knockout, a K, uh, a TKO, a KO, anything. It's going to go to, like, the sixth round, which it did. All right? It's going all the way it did. So, what he said, though, was he was reading something about the fight, all right? And uh, <clears throat> pretty much this fight, they said all the ticket sales, all right? All the proceedings from this fight are going to KSI. Everything is going to KSI. That was all the money that was made off this fight is going to KSI. And then, pretty much KSI and Deji, uh, basically. And then... He, he thought about it like, this kind of makes it seem like they're planning a rematch in the future. Because why would all the money for this fight go to KSI? All right. That means they kind of already have like a rematch planned for the future, regardless of who wins or who loses. So I feel like them having a draw KSI and Logan Paul kind of made it better for them to be able to call out a rematch chance. And most definitely a rematch is happening in the U.S., all right? Now, if the rematch does happen in the U.S. and the rematch is, like, all the proceedings that are made, like, all the money and all that that's made off the ticket sales from the rematch goes to Logan Paul and Jake, that's how you know this was rigged from the beginning. I feel like they finna try to... I'm not saying rigged like the fight was rigged. No, like, basically planned. It was planned for this to happen, all right? The fight was planned... Like, whoever wins or loses, they, were, they already had a rematch set. Like, they, they're they milking this, basically. Because, bro, you guys know how much attention these guys are getting. Even though they already have, bro, they're like the biggest YouTubers. KSI, Logan Paul, Jake, they're like the biggest YouTubers. But this whole thing right here gives them more content. They can keep training and all this, this, and that. So, a rematch is happening. Deji says he wants to uh, fight Jake again. KSI and Logan already said it on stage that they're going to have a rematch. And it's not happening in the UK. It's going to be in the US, most definitely. So, yeah, the next proceedings for the next fight are already going to KS, I mean, to Logan Paul and Jake Paul. We already know that. All right. Well, I know that. So, it kind of makes sense as to why he would diss Rice Gum to try and get on the undercard for that fight. That's just how I see it. Now, do I see Rice Gum as of right now, the way Rice Gum is, bro? He going to have to get to eating a lot, working out, getting bigger. Because I do not see Rice Gun fighting at all. Not right now. What, they got six months? Because I think they're trying to fight in January, if I'm not mistaken, February right that time. I don't know. But in like six months, we're going to have a rematch in the U.S. Let me know what y'all think about the fight, guys. Who y'all think won't really? Because honestly, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all like this. First round, most definitely Logan Paul won. Second round, he won. Third, KSI. Fourth. KSI fifth, it was kind of like a draw. The sixth round, most definitely KSI won. So that's three rounds to KSI, two to uh Logan, and one which they had a draw. So KSI wins, right? Because he's got he's won more. It's not a draw, and like and then also one of the judges said KSI won, and two of them said it was a draw. So if two say it's a draw and one says KSI wins, and KSI's won, right? Uh that's just how I see it.
But hey, most definitely he's going to fight Rice Gun. This is just the way to start up the fight and start up the beef. But he did 10 shots. Hopefully we get a response diss track from Rice Gun real soon, guys. But let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notice. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, fam. Peace.